Yes, Muhammad. Hello. Yes, Muhammad. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I just want to clarify. You said uh, the Jamarat in Mecca is uh, the house of Satan. So who, is the, who, who live there then? then who, what is Jamarat? Yeah, no one lives there. It's, it's, it's a place where the stoning ritual happens. Wait, 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 because, wait, wait hold, on, hold on. So if you know that Shaitan is not there, you are stoning who? You're not stoning anyone. So it's, it's, what, a, it's a symbolic uh, ritual. What's symbolic? What, what, what's symbolic of what? I mean, uh, why you to have to go to certain place and you have to say certain words in that place? I mean, if Shaitan is uh, everywhere, so why, what the point of going in certain place and then we have to throw 13 rocks? All right, give me, give me two minutes. I can explain it to you. Okay, go ahead. Um, so Imam Ghazali, he's one of the scholars of Islam. He says in Hiyal Ulum al he says, as for the stoning of Jamarat, the purpose behind it is to follow the command and uh, manifest submission and servitude to Allah. Uh, and then he goes on to say that it's, it's also the aim is to imitate Ibrahim al Islam when Iblis, uh, you know, Satan came, appeared to him in, the, in that place to instill confusion in his mind or tempt him to sin. And Allah commanded him to throw stones at him so as to drive him away and dash his hopes. Mm. If you ever think that Satan appeared to him, and he saw him, and, and that is why he stoned him. Uh, but as for me, the Satan did not appear to me. It, it should be noted that this toy is from the Satan, and he is the one. Yeah, so in the nutshell, we copy what Ibrahim did. Um, okay, let, let me, let me we, ask when you. When we throw this okay, okay, stone, okay, let, let, let me uh, ask you. A, okay, here we go. Thing. We have the Quran in front of us, and I want you to show me where Ibrahim, he throw stones at Shaitan. Where we can yeah, find the, this story. I don't know where you can find the story, but this so, is what the scholars. So you Muslims, before. okay. So you Muslims, you copy each other, but you do not ask yourself well, who is the first one who fabricated this story. What if the story is a fabrication? No, from my knowledge, it's not fabrication. Well, why it's not? I mean, you have no source of it. Well, what, what what this is from? Where where this coming from? I think from libel scholars. So what? Uh, who like who? I mean, do you take your religion from? from okay, let me ask you: Is Al Ghazali is a is a scholar or he is a prophet? Is Hujjatul Islam? But what Hujjatul Islam? What does that mean? He's a proof of Islam. He, he is such an intellectual person. Okay, so uh, if, if Al Ghazali, okay, if Al Ghazali, he says something, that means you have to approve it, right? Not necessarily, but he's what do you mean? A second ago, he is Hujjatul Islam. Hujjatul Islam means the proof of Islam. Translate Hujjatul Islam to people, please. Yeah, proof of Islam. Yeah. Okay, so if this guy he became the proof of Islam. And you, you acknowledge him with such a huge name. I mean, <laughs> to say such a thing, he is this guy, he is equal to a prophet. So he is the proof of Islam. So you copy a story from him just because he said the story? No, he's a reliable person. Okay, let me ask you. You do a, 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 a manat, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you Muslims, you, you do certain rituals in the, in the Kaaba. Who is behind the rituals of Islam? So, uh, like a stoning, I just told you. What do you mean? Like, who is behind it? What? As an example, as Safa, as Safa, as Safa, and Al Marwa. Who is behind as Safa and Al Marwa? What is a Safa? Explain to people here. So these are two mountains where um, a woman called Hajra she was running um, between the mountains, and the reason was um, Ibrahim Islam, the Prophet Abraham. He left his people. Uh, he left his wife. Uh, and the sun in the in the desert hmm. so uh, she was looking for water and then uh, Zamzam appeared so there's water that appeared from the ground hmm. uh, it was a miracle from Allah and hmm. let, let yeah, me ask you do the kuffar believe in Abraham uh, maybe they follow this tradition so how they follow his tradition but they don't believe in him that's possible. It's, uh, it's what do you mean the possible? I, mean, I don't a, believe in Abraham. A, a can, you know, how you, Muslim, can, how you Muslim, you say uh, that Muhammad was the only one Abrahamic and the rest are not. So how the Muslims, they claim such a thing that he was Abrahamic and those kuffar, the reason they are not, they are kuffar because they aren't Abrahamic. Now suddenly you say no, to me that the kuffar... The reason they are kuffar is because they took the idols as gods. Okay, let me ask you. When Muhammad, he said, as Safa and Marwa, it's okay to do it, was because of what? 
it's, 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 it's like I said, these are all rituals. Uh, no, 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 no. The Muslims, they, the Muslims, no, the Muslims, they complain. They said this is this is pagan. We will not do it. Is that true? Or I'm making things up? It says pagan. I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah, this is pagan because the the Arab they used to go between two those two hills simply because supposedly there's a story, a legion story, that there is a a man and a woman they have six in the Kaaba, and uh, uh, Allah He cursed them, the Moon God, and He made them uh, stones. Is that true? Um, and they used to so go between, and they and used then, to go between those two idols. Is that true? Yeah, I heard something like, yeah, I heard something like that. Okay, so so this is what al Safa and Marwa is. The Arab they are not practicing Abraham. Read with me carefully. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul, not my book. This is your book. Let me zoom out. You will see that the Muslims they did not like it. This is why the Quran came, chapter two, verse one fifty eight says that as safan and marwa min sha'ar Allah fa man hajj al-bayt aw a'tamara fala janaha alay it's not a sin to do as safan marwa it's not a sin yeah okay why yeah. they thought it's a sin that's mean some people they thought it's a sin right uh, read that again it's not a sin to uh, to practice as safan marwa here we go the verse in front of us there's there therefore there's no sin the marwa and uh, the safan and marwa are among the indication of ritual of Allah if there uh, so it is there no therefore no sin for him who do that your God saying that the Quran so what made yeah, the so Muslim, okay so what the Muslims uh, what made the Muslim think there is a sin if we do a Safa and Marwa why 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 they think it's a sin read me carefully it says here <clears throat> This re verse revealed about a group of people from the helper Al Ansar before Islam. They used to go and make privilege to Manat, and were forbidden. This is where Manat is, and they were forbidden from going between As Safa and Marwa. Those people they worship Manat. As Safa is from the ritual of Manat. So, and they were forbidden from going between As Safa and Marwa when they went to do Hajj with Allah Messenger, which means now they became Muslims. Allah bless him and give him peace. They mentioned to this to him. It was a request only for this group. This group they said to him, "We are used to do a safar marwa. You know, we, we like it." Look what Muhammad he said. So Allah revealed this verse. So Muhammad, you know, I'm not insulting. I'm saying to you what I believe. Muhammad, because he's a hypocrite man, just because a group of Al Ansar who they are pagan and now they converted to Islam and he don't want to lose them, they said to him, "We like to do a safar marwa." The rest of the Muslims, they don't do that. Only Allah. Yeah, Allah, Allah replaced the rituals. So what's the problem? What replace? I mean, do you replace? Why would they, why would they okay, are you saying to me, Allah, he changed? No, 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 no. A second ago, you told me this is about Abraham and his wife. And suddenly, it is yeah, about Manah. Yeah, is, is, no, no, no it is. it's not. Read carefully so, with me. No, read carefully with me. This is narrated by Muslim from report of Abu Bakr, etc., etc., etc. It says, we dislike... We dislike who is saying Anas ibn Malik. We dislike going between as Safa and Al-Marwa. Why Anas ibn Malik dislike to go between as Safa and Marwa? You give me an answer. If this is what Abraham wife she did, why he dislike? Because maybe the pagan Arabs did it wrong stuff. Because this is the shrine of the pagan. This is not the ritual only. This is the shrine of the pagan. It's in front of you. It says because they were the shrines of Quraysh. In the pre that, period, no, no, how does that affect Islam in any way? That's the question I'm asking. It's very easy to explain it, Muhammad. Because if he is a true prophet, he will not accept under any condition to take a pagan shrine to be part of his shrine. The prophet can replace the uh, ritual no, that they're doing. What do you mean he can replace? Carefully. What do you mean he can replace? This is not he didn't replace, he, ex he, he, he returned back to it. The, the people used to go around the Kaaba before Islam. The people they used to cause the black stone before Islam. The uh, 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 women they used to go naked around the Kaaba before Islam. Men they put a sheet around themselves and they replace their ch clothes in, uh, before Islam. This is exactly what they do. They shave their head before Islam and they slaughter before Islam and they cut the hand before Islam for a thief. And now Muhammad, just because Al Ansar, they said to him, This is a shrine of us, we like it.
Muhammad is saying yeah, he's not saying. They must have took it from proper Prophet Ibrahim or something. They must have learned. Where that is from. Ibrahim here? Yeah. Read carefully. Do you see Ibrahim in the story? It is the shrine. This is Anas ibn Malik, not me. Saying we dislike going between a Safa and Marwa because this is where the shrine of Quraysh and the pre-Islamic. And not only that, it says read carefully. So then Allah revealed the verse, said Omar ibn Hubaysh, etc. I ask Omar blah 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 and Safa Marwa. And in Safa there was an idol for a man called Esau. And on Al Marwa, there's an idol uh, 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 which supposedly for a woman, her name is Naila. The people of the book claimed that those two had committed adultery in the Kaaba and has punished by Allah and turned them into two stones. <laughs> uh, now, where is Abraham in the story? Obviously, the Arab. They are worshiping those things. They have idols. They worship them. They practice them, and they are part of their religion. And Muhammad, just because he, he wanna, he don't wanna lose those people who they are al Ansar. They like it. They practice it. So you know what? Let us do it. Ibrahim Islam is in the Quran, so he he basically he him and the son they built it. Where so is Abraham? In the Quran? Where, where is in the Quran? Rishon, 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 where in the Quran Rishon. it says as Safa and Al Marwa is from Abraham? Can you show me? Um, uh, it's not in the Quran, never. So I can find uh, where he left. Uh, I can find maybe in so, some scripture. My friend, what's, what left, scriptures? What are you talking hard. about? This here we go. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. The book, the book of Asbab and Nuzul is so clear. There's two idols of a man and a woman, and those people they believe in them and they worship them and they practice their shrine. This is their shrine. Who the 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 Ansar? The Ansar is the one who made Muhammad change his ritual and add additional to the Kaaba, additional to the regime uh, Jamarat, uh, throwing the rocks at the Shaitan house. Additional to that, he had this just because uh, somebody requested the same as the Kaaba. Who is the one who made Muhammad uh, pray to the Kaaba? Do you know? Uh, Allah revealed the revelation. That's not true. That's not true. It was Omar. Well, Omar, he said, my Lord agreed with me. In three things. Hmm? Yeah, where's the print for the cover? Okay. So Omar is the one who made the decision. Why he made the decision? Right. Where's the seller? Why he made the decision? My Lord agreed with me in three three things. The translation is funny. In the case yeah, of the I'll, station I'll, of Abraham, I'll, I'll, okay, let me ask yeah. you. Who is who is Abu uh, who is Omar to this to decide for the Muslims that the Kaaba should be the place of station to pray? Who is a, he's a prophet? Oh, that's uh, Muqam Ibrahim, not the not not the Qibla. What do you mean? The, 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 this is the Kaaba, Muqam Ibrahim. No, this is the Kaaba. This is talking about the Kaaba. They used to pray in the direction of of uh, of Jerusalem, and now says, they switch. Now this no, let's this read, is, let's read it. Uh, no, it this says, is, this is, we took the station of Ibrahim as from Allah. Yes, train yes, place. before it was not. So the station of Ibrahim. Yeah, that's not the Ibrahim. That's not that's not the Kaaba. No, this is the Kaaba. I think you misunderstand me. No, like, my friend, uh, no, my friend, this is the Kaaba. Aren't you the one who said to me that, okay, who is the one who built the Kaaba? Ibrahim as well, yeah. Okay. And why this is not the station of Abraham then? Because uh, the station where he stood on, uh, that was uh, it's called Muqam Ibrahim, where he stood. Is it in the and Kaaba? So is it, it in the square of the Kaaba? Is that is that in the square of the Kaaba? It's near the Kaaba. It's behind. It's, it is in the Kaaba. It's what like a meter, a meter away, two meter away. How how how, how far away? <laughs> come on, listen. Yeah. So, about, yeah. Okay. It's, so it's come the on. Goal, come it's come the, on. First the, of all, first of all, the, the Kaaba, uh, the Kaaba today. You can go and search right now. Even the Kaaba is moved. This is not the correct location. The Kaaba totally moved, and you can go right now, search and go, and you will find this is the truth. But I don't care about that. Who is this guy, Omar, who decide the direction of the prayer to make the station of a prayer, which is the Kaaba, is the station for all Muslims? Yes, who so is Umar, Umar <laughs> Anhu, he desired that the Muslim prayer where Ibrahim Islam stood mm -hmm. uh, and he built the Kaaba from. So he desired that. So and but, then Allah but this, mean, but this is mean that the Kaaba is 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 built by Allah. As Muslims they claim by Allah angels even before he created Adam 2,000 years is a big fat lie because it was desire of Omar not desire of Allah 
and that's mean that okay. the and oh, hold on hold on do you see what it says here did you see can you, can you read with me that is uh, my lord agreed with me okay read uh, i change the location please and bad ones talk to them so no read what, right. I, what i highlighted do you see the highlight so this verse the same as i had said was revealed unbelievable Allah, he not only he agreed with Omar, he took his words one by one, and he made it Quran, and it became an order. How Allah, he says, nobody can make Quran like my Quran. No genie, no human being. Yet this Quran is made by Omar, word by word. The, no, the, 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 uh, when Allah says no one can make a Quran like his, there's uh, many factors you consider. One is that millions of people recite. Can you show me one one? Uh, surah that's uh, that's uh, memorized and recited by millions of people. No, 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 no. First of all, my friend, all the history, my, my, friend, years. my my mother, she memorized the Bible from the first page to the last page. This is number one. As have, have million people done that? There is, yeah, there is a lot. Of, you know, there's there's millions of people. Yes, even there's people that memorize it not right. only in the Arabic, in even in Aramaic, the Aramaic language, and not only that, they sing it. They sing the whole Bible. You can go right now, type in Google, type. Uh, 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 singing the Bible Aramaic, and you will hear it. They they sing the whole Bible, all of it. Not only that, they sing it. Uh, uh, they sing it three times. The four Gospels in one night, especially in the in the night of Easter. Four Gospels, they sing it f f three times. The Gospel singing. Now listen. You memorize does not make you a person who knows what I'm talking about. You are memorizing, but you don't understand. You don't even speak the language, and this is very funny. It so, it's, it's no, this revelation. Is, no, this is not revelation. Here we go. This is the revelation of Omar. If Allah, Allah why Allah, Allah, how Allah agree with Omar? It's not Omar. It's not uh, Omar agree with Allah. It's Allah agree with Omar. The hijab is made by Omar. Threatening the wives he, of Muhammad of divorce is it, made so by Allah, Omar. It's according to the circumstances. Allah reveals the revelation. Oh, so oh, no, no, hold on. It. Okay, so why Allah? He said it as I said. Explain that to me, word by word. Who is copying who? Omar, he said that in front of Muhammad. Muhammad, he like it. He make a Quran. It's very simple. That's in brackets anyway. So, so what? That's in brackets. So that, no, that, no, no, no. It says that. It says what? Well, this, this is what it says in Arabic. What, what does it say? It says this is how it came in Arabic. And this is why he's saying yeah, say, 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 say in Arabic. My friend, it says. Wafaktu Rabbi qala Omar. وافقت ربي في ثلاث فقلت يا رسول الله لو اتخذنا من مقام ابراهيم مصلى فنذلت واتخذ من مقام ابراهيم مصلى exactly word by word it's yes, in the front so, of you so he says that Allah revealed the ayah so what revealed the, the ayah word word. it's Omar who said that it's just Omar he said that Omar he said the ayah not Allah let me ask you did your prophet says that if there is a prophet will be after me that would be Omar yeah. Why he said that? Because he's got a high ranking. Uh, you know, he, his decision was according to Islam. How, how, like how he is high ranking? I mean, his, his natural disposition. Hold on. Who is Muhammad to say who can be a prophet after him? He, he got that from Revelation. Well, so Allah, he changed his mind? But whatever the Prophet says is Revelation. No. You are saying to me he got it from Revelation. Muhammad, he was revealed to him from Allah that a prophet after him came. It could be Omar. Of course, that's revelation divine. Where, where, where you get this revelation from? So why he is not a prophet then? The, the prophet said that if if there ever was, and then he said no, no, no. What, what, what do you mean if? I mean, what do you mean if? What do you mean if? Either if, if, if hold on. You just said to me this is revelation from Allah. All right. Okay. So. If Allah, he said to him, Omar will be, uh, uh, Allah revealed to him, Omar will be a prophet, or if Omar will be, if there is a prophet, will be Omar? Yeah, if, yeah. Whoa, so what does that mean? I mean, this is silly. How Allah, he says that? Well, I, mean, I mean, the prophet said that if, if, if there was ever a prophet, a prophet after me, it would be Omar, but there's no prophet after me. Hey, hold on. So what the point of saying if there is a prophet after me will be Omar? No, the po yeah, the point is to show the rank of Umar that his rank is such high that you need to respect him, honor him, and uh, yeah.
longest. What do you mean replay? Uh, so, so Muhammad, are you saying Muhammad is fabricating things and just to make people obey Omar? Not fabricating. So, who is he? Run. Because this is very dangerous, my friend. It's when you say no, 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 no. When you say when you say that the messenger of Allah said, if there was to have a prophet after me, it would be have been Omar ibn al-Khattab. Yeah. First of all, who is Muhammad to say such a statement? You said to me this is a revelation. He's a prophet of Allah. So no, no, no. Yeah, you said to me this is a revelation, okay? So, of course, yeah, Allah told sorry. Muhammad to say that. Does that mean that yes, Muhammad here announced that Umar ibn Khattab is a prophet going to be after me? No, because the prophet in the same sentence said there is no prophet after me. Where? Oh, that hold, hold on, where, where? Here we go. The hadith in front of me doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. He said that there is no prophet after me. I'll find it if you want it. Okay. There will prophet after me. I, I know there's a hadith that says there's no prophet after me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Muhammad, he when he say. If there is a prophet to be is going to be Omar obviously because he is copying it from Omar Omar he got him busted Omar he says something Muhammad he take it he put it in the Quran and Omar he says my, my Lord agree with me in three things now Muhammad when I explain why he is or his God agreeing with Omar so he come with this he said if there is a messenger to be after me, that it be Omar, because obviously he's prophesying. It's not Muhammad the prophet. Already he's a prophet. He's just a prophesy. Omar, he prophesy. He said the Kaaba. He said the hijab. He said the, the wives will be threatened. He prophesy, and Allah, he took his words and he make it Quran. So Muhammad here. Yeah, Allah, Allah reveals revelation according to the circumstances. So simple. Allah. What circumstances? I mean, what this point of this? I it's mean, the circumstances are reason he desired hold on, hold on. So Who, who is him. more important in Islam, Uthman ibn Affan or Omar? Uh, Omar is the Why? Because high ranking. That's not true. That's not true. Isn't it? Isn't it? Your prophet was showing his legs, and then he did not cover himself unless uh, until Uthman he came. Yeah, that's because of modesty and uh, what? No, it does a different. No, he he's, he's a different he he's that, still no, no, he said that the angels are shy when they see Uthman. Yeah. Okay, the angels are not shy when they see Omar. So who is the who is the best between those people then, according to your prophet? If the angels are shy when they see Uthman, who is the one the angels they respect more? I mean, come on, from be, other be honest. From the narrations, we know that because um, the Prophet gave an order, and he, in, in a certain order, he said Abu Bakr fil Jannah, Umar fil Jannah, Uthman fil Jannah, and then Ali fil Jannah. So, hmm. so Abu Bakr is higher than, according to you? Yeah, of course. Okay, so why Abu Bakr will not be? A, so why Abu Bakr will not be a prophet? Why he did not say if Abu Bakr is first? Why he did not say if there is a prophet to be after me will be Abu Bakr? The answer is very simple. Because Omar was copying, uh, uh, Muhammad was copying from Omar. And here, let me ask you about this hadith, as long as we mention it. Why Muhammad is showing his legs and he is not modest, sitting in front of his men, almost naked? And when no, Uthman, it's, it's, he entered. No, no, it's, no, this is a lower part of the leg, so this is like uh, I, I, below the knee. What do you mean? I mean, obviously, it won't be showing the knee because it's haram to show the knee. It's haram to show the knee? Yeah, it's haram to show from the belly, uh, from the navel to the knee. No, it says here, Kashifan an fakhdayhi. Do you know what fakhdayhi mean? His thigh, is the thigh of his legs. Do you see it? It's in the front of you. An fakhdayhi. Let me yeah, what do scholars, what does, uh, scholars say about it? You don't ask me about the scholars. Your scholars are not scholars. They are potatoes. So Muhammad was showing his the thigh of his legs almost, and there's no panty at that time. So Muhammad is showing his legs all the way up, almost naked. Omar he entered, he did not fix his clothes. Uh, 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 Abu Bakr he entered, he did not fix his clothes. When Uthman he entered, he covered himself. What's the English translation there? Let me see. I don't know. Okay. 
uh, Allah messenger was laying in the bed in my apartment and his and he he, he uh, his thigh uncovered do you see it Um, yeah, Thai. Okay. Okay. So when you when you have people around you in your house and you are a prophet of God, are you going to show all the way to your top of your thigh and there's men entering your house? Is that okay? And now look I mean, what the, happened. Look what happened. The the thigh is above the knee. Yeah, his legs. I mean, yeah. So thigh, thigh, the whole thigh is you know can be all the way to his testicles. And Abu Bakr sought permission and enter. He was given, and Muhammad did not cover himself. Omar he asked for permission to enter, and he came, and Muhammad he did not change. When Uthman he entered, he covered himself. Aisha she said to him, "What's up, Abu Bakr? He entered. You did not change the way you are. You know you're exposing yourself. Omar he entered. You did not change. And now." Uthman he enter you change look what Muhammad said I should not show uh, shouldn't I show modesty to the one whom even even all uh, the angels show modesty oh hold on so your prophet saying he was not being modest with Abu Bakr and Omar no, this is yeah, that's a special treatment with towards uh, so a special and... treatment is I show you my legs or my ass what does that mean I mean what special treatment that's special treatment saying that look, I'm showing modesty. No, no, no. You, you, no, 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 no. He, here, your prophet, he is agreeing that he have no modesty. His modesty only in the front of Uthman. In the front of the rest, he can show whatever there's, he want. There's, no, there's, there's different levels of modesty. So is a uh, this is like extra. So he's doing so. what extra? What extra? My friend, he just said that he said, shouldn't I show modesty? So which means he was not showing modesty. So now he is showing modesty because Uthman enter. So Uthman obviously is higher from Abu Bakr. Higher from Omar, and uh, you know he is the one. Even he collect the Quran after that. The reason here, the reason Muhammad he fix his clothes because Muhammad he take his money for a long time from Uthman. Uthman, the biggest donator, the rich man. So Uthman, the rich man, he entered the house. Muhammad he changed the way he sit because this is an investor. So now we will not sit as we sit usually, showing our ass. Now here, let us ask you. The angels are shy from Uthman. Why? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Okay, are the angels shy from your prophet? Uh, we got no idea. What do you mean you got an idea? Obviously not, because Muhammad is showing his legs in front of foreign people, and yet he is saying, now I will do modesty. So the angels are not shy from Muhammad when he is showing his legs. The angels are shy from Uthman. Who is Uthman? Why the angels are showing... But how do you know the angels are even there in the first place? Why? Your prophet, he just said that. He said, shouldn't I be modest from a guy? He is The angels are shy from him. So... He when he was general, that's it's not saying that the, the angels are there and having modesty. He's saying that no, no, general, no, he's saying oh, he's the, 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 you see, you are reading translation, my friend. Yeah, okay, shouldn't be ashamed from a man the angels will be ashamed of, of, of being him, will be like you, will be like in trouble because he show up. Yeah, so he's not, he's not saying that angels are there and been having modesty he's saying that the angels do have it what have the modesty. angels have it? Oh, hold on hold on muhammad was showing his almost his ass he did not no, cover no. he did not cover when uthman he no, when, tight, when, when omar when when Khalid, uh, uh sorry when omar and uh, abu Bakr, but when uthman he entered he changed away and why because don't you wear shorts is, don't you wear shorts do what don't you wear shorts shorts what in short? the summer, don't you wear shorts? There's no short at that time. There's no short. People don't even wear underwear. No, people wear undergarments. No, your prophet, he, you know what, you know, your prophet, he used even to dry his his hand in the wall. Of course, that, if that, them times, that's what they did. Oh, no, why? He have, uh, people, they have a clothes at that time. Why he dry his house? They didn't have tissue. They didn't have all this stuff. So. No, 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 they have a fabric. They have fabric. Don't they have, they have a clothes? 
Don't they have a fabric to to, to, to dry? Yeah, it costs a lot of money. So when you when you have uh, sex and you do etc. or you do a uh, evolution, you you dry your hands in the wall. What we will have in the wall? Because so uh, painting. No, you you wash your hands and then you dry it. You dry it where? On the wall. Uh, they did that in the past. But Muhammad, he touched the ground first. He touched the ground and then he touched the wall. Yeah, so does he put it on the soil? But and the ground the is not a tire. The ground is dirt. You know, the houses in the, in the time of Muhammad, they are dirt. This is a, a, a house, a desert house. So when you touch, yeah, if, you, if your hands is is wet and you touch the dirt and then you dry your hand in the wall, what happened to your wall? Nothing, it just gets very muddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, what do you think about somebody having lice? Lice? Mm. Mm. Uh, it depends where you live in. Of course, of course, you do that. You what have lice. The, what is the reason of lice? To have lice. Um, no idea. What is the reason? You don't know. If you don't, no, take, do you know the reason? If you don't take a shower, if you don't wash yourself, no. Uh, um, where did the lice even come from? Lice is an insect. Yeah, where do they come from? They are insects. I mean, uh, what do you mean they come from? Yeah, so what's your point? I'm asking you, what do you think about somebody is full of lies? Um, like you said, maybe they never, maybe the cleanliness was not. Uh, Depending where you, where they're living, the cleanliness was, you know, perfect. No, is it is it, is it is it because of dirt? Is it because you are not taking a shower? You are not washing yourself? Possibly. Possibly. Be because okay. in our times, the people they have uh, lice and okay. they have showers every day, so mm. it's, it's you can have lice without. Okay, but your prophet he said that um, uh, the prophets of Allah are examined by lice. Is that true? Where do you say that? I mean, each time I say something to a Muslim, he says to me why he says that. It's good to look at it. Okay, I will try to find it for you. But I'm just asking you now. Is that true? That God, I, uh, that God, I personally have read that it, God, he examined his prophets by lies. Yeah, I personally I haven't read it, but if, if that happens, it's, it's a minor point. It's not a major point. What a major point. How Allah, how he examined you by lies. If someone has lies, it's just it's like part of the human. No, no, uh, it says Muhammad he says, in the al Anbiya, bala. We the people who they are prophets, Allah he double our suffering. How? He said by 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 lies. So if you have a lies, that's mean you're a prophet because this is a double of suffering. Where's this narration? Huh? Where's this narration? Is it Sahih? This is yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> it says Sahih wa Sahih wa Hafiz. Then and even Al Albani he he said it's Sahih. Which kitab? Uh, you can read it from uh, uh, Abi Sa'id Al Khudari. So what do you say? Oh. So he says Allah, that it's a test. Um, Allah, he double. He, yeah, uh, Allah, he tests his prophet by the lies. No, what's the problem with that? What do you mean? Why Allah, he uh, tests his prophet by lies? Is like, is lies like sex? Is lies? I mean, what? Why lies? Allah tests uh, with a lot of things. Uh, you know, so now you are a prophet of God. You want to invite people to believe in this God, and then you are full of lies. And this is supposedly a test from God. What that will do? I mean, what that will do to you? What is the you benefit? Can be tested, you can be tested with lice in one day, and that's it. What? How do you how, how do you know? You, you said he's full of lice. But how do you know? Like, is every day he had lice? How oh, Allah is testing me by lice? I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand from you how how Allah is testing me. By by making lies attacking me. What is that? Mm -hmm. I've read that narration anyway. Before. Okay, can we can we call the lies names? 
Can we say we condemn the lies? Can we say uh, damn you li li lies? Can we say that? Um, no, I don't know. Your prophet, he said, don't curse the lies. Why? I'm trying to find it in English. I cannot find anything in English. Why we cannot curse the lies? Do you know? No. Nope. According to your prophet, because the lies, they keep us, we, we know we cannot sleep if we have lies. So they keep us awake. Is that true? Um, yeah, they do keep us awake. So now the lies are blessed animals. Why? Because they suck our blood and they keep us awake. We cannot, we cannot sleep. We have to keep itching. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard anything about the lies ever before. Read carefully with me. Anas ibn Malik, this is your Muslim translation, reported that the man, he cursed a fleas in the presence of the Prophet. May Allah bless him and grant him peace. The Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. He said, don't curse them. A flea woke up one, a Prophet for a prayer. <laughs> is that for real? <laughs> Yeah, of course you shouldn't be cursing anything. It's uh, no, 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 no. He didn't say no, 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 no. You, you curse all you know, Muslims. You curse everything. You curse the Christians. You curse Jews. You curse the Hindus. You curse everything. You curse your, your children. No, no, of, no, we personally do not do that. No, you 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 do that. I can show you tons of a prayer. Allahumma laan. Allahumma laan. Allahumma laan. All your prayer is a cursing. Don't change the topic. Now, why? If a, if, a, if a lies, she woke up a prophet to pray. Who is this prophet? Don't know. Is this a, a holy lie sent by Allah to wake up the prophet? It's just a, probably a normal fly. Okay, so why why this lies she woke up this prophet? And now because she woke up a prophet, we cannot curse the lies. So we can curse all the other animals, but the lies, no. We shouldn't curse anything. You know your prophet, he says, even kill the lizard, kill the dogs. What are you talking about? You killed yeah, the only. The yeah. scholar said there was a, you're, a you're prophet, he said, the enemy of time. Allah is the mice. The mice is the enemy of Allah. So why, why, how, is that a blessed flea? What does that mean? I mean, don't curse it. Why? Because this, uh, this lies, she woke up a prophet. What does that mean? She is eating his blood. She is sucking his blood. Since when this is good? So according to your prophet, in one statement, he say that the lies are a trial from Allah. In another verse, he says that lies are a blessing from Allah because they wake up to pray. No, this is not a lie. This is fleas. And my, my friend is the same. And the insects suck in your blood. That's what they do. Now, fleas are different from lice. Okay, what is a fleas? Explain to me. Let's uh, see how they look. How they look? Um, yeah, they're kind of same. Look how beautiful they are. So according to your prophet, those are beautiful and they don't curse them. <laughs> Don't curse them because you know Allah the creation of Allah the creation of Allah created you know you curse everything you curse all you curse a human being don't you pray every day five times a day it says Allah don't make us the same as the the the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews the cursed Jews yeah. you know it's the curse by who because by Allah not uh, okay and he just said Jews no you Christians ask Allah say. always the curse you ask Allah to curse it's not you who is cursing you cannot curse because supposedly you are not God but you ask Allah not, to curse. No, no, you're not translating it properly. Okay, it let, says, me ask uh, you, let me ask uh, you. Uh, if, a, if, a, if, a woman, if a woman, she take care of her face, who is the one who's going to curse her, Allah or you? If a woman what? If a woman, she take care from her, uh, from her face. Yes, uh, it's Allah that... Uh, Why? Um, changing the creation of Allah. What does that mean? 
So whatever Allah give naturally, they shouldn't uh, deviate from that. Okay. So now, if a woman she take hair from her face, Allah is going to curse her. Be honest with me. Do your wife no, take hair from her face? No, there's, a, there's a certain uh, they can they, they take hair from it if it's if it's uh, needed, but it shouldn't be to you know nowadays the women they make it so thin and stuff like they changing uh, the appearance how a woman should look. So if you change the appearance, Allah will curse you. That woman will be a curse, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so. Uh, is that because you are changing the creation of Allah He made you, correct? Yes. So why are you circumcise? Uh, because it's, it's the command of Allah, so He told us to do it. How Allah He command you to change the, His creation in the same time He curse you if you change His creation? It's, it's like cutting your nails. So obviously Allah created you with nails, so you're going to, uh, He told us to cut it. Okay. This, you know, so okay, said, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you, if a woman, she take care from her face, what is the business with Allah? How, how that is against Allah? Because they're changing Allah, what Allah has created for that person. But you just said to me, you can cut your nails, and you as a Muslim man, you can even trim your mustache, and even you can shave, correct? Um, yeah, so I, even I can't do certain Okay, things. so you can okay. shave your hair from your if you're your face, and you are a man, but if a woman, she take hair from her face, and she is a woman, Allah will curse her. Don't you think that this is absurd, and this is really silly? She's a woman, she's the woman. She, he should make it the opposite. He should say, okay, well, if you are a man, you take hair from your face, I will curse you. But he do the opposite. He say, if you are a man, it's okay. If you are a woman, and you do that, I'll curse you. But the women, they need to take hair from their face, because they are females. No, no, even uh, even with a male, if he if he takes his beard off, he'll be sinful. No, my friend, you can you can shave, and you be your prophet. He used to color his, his himself red head. Is it what? Muhammad? He color himself. Don't Muhammad he color his hair to make it red? His beard. No, his hair, all his uh, so okay beard. Let us go with the beard. So a woman she take hair from her face is a change of the look of Allah. Making your beard red is not the change of the creation of Allah. So he was allowed to do certain things in, in Islam. What do you mean he's allowed? allowed? What do you mean he's allowed? No, he is not allowed. Where, where no, he's allowed? Either, Allah either you are forbidden from changing the way Allah He made you, and that goes for everybody, or you don't make it as you see here. Now Muhammad, he changed his hair, and now the Muslims, they follow. So now all the Muslims are allowed to change the color of their hair. But if a woman, she take hair from her face, she is changing the way Allah He made her. Yeah, she, she, she can't, you know. What, 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 okay, why, why, okay, why, why, why? I mean, my friend, listen to me. The Muslim women, Muhammad, he told them to shave their vagina. Is that correct? So he told even a male, female to listen. Shave was your the was your prophet hair. was your prophet doing a nora? Also nora. Uh, uh, waxing. Hmm? Waxing. Uh, yeah, on the arms. What? Armpits. Yeah, so he 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 advised us to clock the uh, armpits. But no, Muhammad he used to do waxing for all his body. Is that a change of his uh, the Allah creation? All his body. Where does that? You, you know, each time I say something, you say to me, "Where is that? Where is that?" And he will keep showing you. I'm asking you now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, show me okay. that. No, no, no. I'm interested to see. Okay. All no body. problem. I will show you. But I'm asking you. Is well, if that? you take hair only from one place, you agree that your prophet, according to you, he take hair from where? Um, well, pubic hair. Hmm. Is that to change the way Allah He created you? Mm, this, the same thing that needs to be removed. So Allah tells us what, what we should do. Okay. What we so should why, why the in the pubic area, taking hair is fine, but the woman in her face, she cannot. She cannot. She can take. Uh, if it's too bushy, she can. Uh, just, uh, what you do know, you mean too bushy? It says here. It says here. Allah He curses those who block hair from their faces. And yeah, from uh, from other uh, from other hadith, we understand that a woman should not look like a man. So if if, if it's uh, and she shouldn't look odd as well. So the point is, my that friend, no, no. It says whoever whoever well. take hair from her face, Allah He curses her. In the same time. 
you do boxing and you are a man and you do change the color of your hair and you are a man and you shave your beard and you are a man but if a woman should do shave. that what do you mean Muslims are allowed to shave their beard show me a hadith that says a Muslim man cannot shave his beard yeah the hadith says uh, uh, the prophet said uh, grow your beard and trim your mustache and there's a man that came no no to the prophet he, and this and is advice this is not an order you know this is not advice no, the prophet yeah no no the no man no. came to the prophet and the prophet turned away from him because of that no no show me what it says it's forbidden for you to shave your beard otherwise we will not see a one Muslim he is not shaving his beard this is uh, deduced from the narrations what, what? This is deduced from the narrations. Uh. <laughs> okay, let me ask you: Did your prophet circumcise himself? Uh, he was circumcised by who? I don't know by. Never. I never saw. Never heard of Muhammad being circumcised. Where? How? It's it's uh, it's understood because he commanded his uh, followers. Mm. He commanded his followers to do many things, but he never did what they do. He said to them, four wives, he have thirteen. He said to them, you etc. He do don't uh, approach your wife when they have their period. He approaches his uh, wife is when they have their period. He said, don't piss when you are facing the qibla. He piss facing the qibla. Muhammad, he says something for them, not for him. He's like Erdogan. Erdogan, he said something to them. He do the opposite. No certain things I only for him and also. Uh, if you were urinating towards uh, the thing he was teaching us that is it's actually permissible but it's uh, recommended not to It's not allowed to piss into world the Qibla But Muhammad he does now. Let me ask you. Do you have any reference that your prophet he did? Circumcised or he was circumcised and what at what age? Never been circumcised. So look at this hypocrisy. He says and he claimed that he is Abrahamic he claimed that it is from the ritual of Allah. He claimed that this is the, from the order of Allah, but he is the last one to be circumcised. No, lack of evidence doesn't mean that he, he, he never happened. No, the lack of evidence, that's on you, because simply this is should be mentioned even in the, in the Quran. Well, what do you say? You mentioned the Quran, what? Yeah, what, what in the Quran speak about the circumcision of the Prophet? I mean, the Quran have time to tell us about the ant speaking to the ants. The flying carpet, the bird, the bird who went to find a woman, she have no hair in her legs, but Allah, he don't have time to tell us about what happened to Muhammad. It's minor, it's like, less for argument's sake, say he wasn't circumcised, what's the problem? You see, my, 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 my point is, all Muhammad behavior, he changed the way Allah, he made you look like supposedly, but now he is cursing the women for just a silly stupid thing. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? What the business of God with women taking hair from her face? If you can't take hair from your body, if he allow you to take hair from your body, what is a, what is a specific about the face? Why if she take hair, why Allah will be happy if your wife, she look like a goat? This is not even logical. It's the stupid women. They are women. She, she, she like to be beauty. I mean, uh, imagine a, why a woman now, uh, Middle Eastern, I'm a Middle Eastern, we, you know, we are hairy. We are very hairy. Once I was kicked from the swimming pool, they thought I'm wearing my clothes. I told them I'm not wearing anything. This is my hair. We look like monkeys. So a woman, a Middle Eastern woman, she is still hairy because we are. Yeah, so now, too heavy. So, so uh, now uh, no, the prophet says, if a woman, she black hair, hair, Allah curse her. He didn't say black, you know, if she is no exception, that's it. You cannot block the hair. Even you cannot take hair from your eyebrows. Yeah, you, you can't isolate. Uh, no, you cannot. Show me the reference. Show me the reference. No way it says that. It says it clearly. You cannot. No, from other hadith, we understand that. The no, my friend, there's no other hadith. Don't, 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 or don't or for or yourself. Or there's or no, no, there's no other hadith. You cannot take hair from your face anywhere. Not your cheek, not your eyebrows, nowhere. Allah curse you. So all what we notice here, we are jumping like monkeys from place to place to place. Muhammad, he say things doesn't make sense. He copied from Omar the Quran. He changed the direction of a prayer because of Omar. He for he, he ordered women to do hijab because of Omar. And now he is coming with the most silly, in a, a crazy stuff that women, if they block hair from their face, Allah will curse them. What about why he didn't say? Why he didn't say Allah curse the man who take hair from his face? Why he did not say Allah will do this to a man who do that to his face? He did not say that. Why? 
there's many other narrations that apply to both. Like he said, uh, may Allah bless the tattooer and the tattooed, the one who. Uh, this is in front of you. This is all of them. I can show you all of them. They are the same. It's about a woman. When we talk about taking hair from the face, your prophet he take hair. Your prophet he color his hair. Your prophet forbid the Muslims from coloring the, their hair black. Why, by the way, why you cannot carry color your hair black? I mean, even, even uh, yeah, he said not black. But even even a woman she can color her. Hair if, if why why black? Why black? Why black is haram? What the problem? Um. Isn't it, isn't it God who created us with the black hair usually? I mean, what the problem? Those are Arab. Their hair is not a blonde. So why? Well, yeah, um, yeah, the black. The, yeah, the reason black was is because you're deceiving people of your age. Um, because uh, generally people do uh, color no, their hair black. No, no, no. He ordered them to make it red. Yeah, of course, in that way, you're not deceiving them. What do you mean you are not deceiving them? You are changing the color anyway. <laughs> Because you're showing, because you generally, uh, you color it if you got white hair. My friend, your prophet, he saw a man, he have a gray hair. He said to him, color, color your hair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you are deceiving anyway. Leave him gray. Allah made you gray. So why you want to don't make it, a gray? Why, why you don't keep it a gray? No, people will know that this person had gray hair. So okay. That's why he colored it. No, if, if he did no, it, no, 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 hold on. You are saying to me, we should not change the way Allah, he made us. Okay, is, is, is having a gray. If is having a gray hair, is it the way it should be? Why you need to change it? So Allah decides what is changing and what is not. Like what, no, my what friend, is changing. You, you're a prophet. He forbid them from doing that using a black color because the Jews they used to do to to color with the black color. That's all. That's it. Just because the Jews they used to color their hair with the black, so he said to them. Don't color it black. So color it anything. Anyway, you are changing the color. So look at this prophet. He come with rules and he claimed that those are from Allah. But if you think about it, if you have a little brain, what Allah business to make you to make to be to be upset for Allah if you have a black hair colored, but if he is not upset if you make it red. Yeah, so he decides what web is changing. I think it's been two hours. Uh, yeah, I think your show's about to finish anyway. So what do you mean? He is, he's ordering to uh, he, he, if you don't want them to change, he should say to them, "Don't make it. Don't change it. Don't color it." As you see, a man he came to him and he said to him, "Look, your hair is 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 white. Cover it. Cover it, man." In different hadith, even your prophet he says, "So the, so your wife she will like you." <laughs> anyway my friend thank you for calling and say hello to your to your shake maybe he can call us sometime if you have time all right all right okay take care